is the bullet train. That's the second take. That's why it's already out of the box. So where I left off on my unreleased take, I was um I was I right, already got this. I was gonna head to this. So this is a wooden bullet train. Uh, it has blue on on the bullet train on the car and on the back engine. So I'm gonna kind of like, get this out. Oh wow! It's uh very uh looks a little more pointier than the last bullet train I got from them. I'm gonna open up the coach car. Here's the coach car. Here's the top of it. This side of it. This side of it. Like most imaginary trains, you have all this gear stuff. And the coach car also has the gear stuff presented on both sides. It has the blue and the good painted windows. Let me get the next one out. Gotcha. And uh, pretty looks pretty uh, similar than the first train. And then the first train. Oh, I didn't put these on correctly. So, it's a pretty nice bullet train from Imaginarium. Put those gates down. And um, let's uh, do a little compare and contrast, shall we? Okay, and so now what you're looking at is an older Imaginarium train. Now, this one is red and not the blue, so I'm not going to take points off for that. But you can see that this one is a little flatter than this one. This one's a little pointier. Um, it's, um, it feels a little different. This one feels a little different, and this one isn't as skinny. Um, another thing that I... Uh, so that's kind of what I can really say for this one and for the back end right here and him because <laughs> I mean they're basically the same so we can you know look at the coach car now if you look at the coach both of the, yeah if you look both at both of the coach cars yes he is skinnier and he is not another thing I would love to point out that he actually goes along looking with the bullet train unlike him he looks like he can kind of go with anyone so, that is a little bit of an odd thing. Now, do keep in mind that this is a, it's, it's a thing all by itself. It's just a train, so you'll need wooden tracks or something. Uh, you know, another thing that I want to point out, that in this box, and with all imaginary boxes, that this has is a green scenery, which you can kind of put anywhere. So, I'm going to just kind of, Put this over here to, you know, I don't know, add some to the layout to give it more flair or something. Or, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I'm gonna just keep it like that so far. So, I got this one, king, and I got, where did I put it? Oh, it's over here. And I got this one. Hey, Caitlin, Trackmaster Caitlin. It's not important, though. So, um, it's a, it is a high speed bullet train from Imaginarium, and it's a, a one of the new ones because I just picked this up, and you can know that because I you know, I found the box for it and everything. Now it doesn't say anything that it says on the box, so you know where to get this. And you, I don't know if you can order this online. I can't order any Imaginarium stuff online, but then again, I haven't tried to. Because there's not much Imaginarium uh, trains that I would like to order because, I mean, I can get the new Imaginarium trains that they have in Toys R Us. So, that's not too bad. So, this kind of about wraps it up for this review. And I hope you guys uh, like this review. And if you would like to see more reviews like this, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.